I'm sorry if I'm a little worked up. Uh, I, I did watch the uh, the debates yesterday. Uh, I know, I know. I know, I had to, I had to though. You know what I mean? Like it was just like, I love watching a good train wreck. Like I, I really enjoy going to train yards and just hoping that something catches on fire. Yes. And the closest I'm gonna get to that is watching the goddamn Democratic debates. Oh, listen, I here's the thing. When are we just gonna ask Joe Biden if he wants to take a nap in the back? Like, when is that question gonna be the first question we ask him in like every debate? He's like, hey, your brain is coming out of your head. Do you just want to sleep <laughs> off the next four years? <laughs> I do. I, I legitimately believe that Joe Biden's brain has figured out how to time travel, but it just didn't tell his body. <laughs> right? Like, it just time traveled back into, like, 1943, you know? And then, like, his body is just, like, staying put, and he's just like, corn pop, black people need to listen to records. It's like, where are you? (laughs) What is fucking happening to you right now? You know, and then his teeth fall out of his head because his brain doesn't know how to keep them in his fucking mouth. You know, and everybody's like, that guy's doing great. (laughs) Yeah, he's, yeah, this guy's gonna really beat Trump. Yeah, yeah if Trump says anything, he'll just throw his dentures at him. That'll fucking like that's 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 where the DNC is at this point, right? Like to be like, we fucked over Bernie in 2016, and we're just gonna ignore all of that and spend two years lying to the American people over a conspiracy theory that never existed. So we're just gonna put an older, whiter man that can assault him with his teeth. Like that's. That's where the DNC is at this point. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, you have Bernie, and they asked a question about their health. Did, uh, did, any, did you guys watch the debates? I should ask you watch the debates. Bernie looked great last Bernie looked great! He was fucking... He recovered. Yeah. You know, like, he's he's doing it without sniffing the youth. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know he's not? Yeah. <laughs> because we have no evidence of it, and I feel like Bernie's honest enough to be like, I sniffed a child once. It smelled like the fountain of youth. <laughs> feel like the conquistadors wanted what was in my nose. You know, you know, the fucking nails. He did look great, and it was weird. That they kept asking him that question. I was worried about it, like when he had that heart attack thing. I was like a little concerned, right? I was like, holy shit, are they gonna be like, yeah? Are they, is this finally gonna be the thing where like every fucking neoliberal comes out and he's like, well, he's too old, you know? 72? I mean, he's not young like Elizabeth Warren, who's only 71. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking psychos. He looked great. And he like came out just firing at Biden, where Biden's like, how are we going to pay for health care? Okay? We have several more countries to invade that have our oil. (laughs) Bernie's like, we we can do it. All we have to do is tax Wall Street. He's like, but those are all my friends. <laughs> Good. Maybe you should have your fucking friends pay taxes. Yeah. Got to hear from Cory Booker a couple of times. I don't know if you know this, but he is from New Jersey. Uh, he, he does not fail to mention that every 48 seconds. <laughs> every fucking debate. That's his, that's his thing, right? They're just like, Corey, what do you think about Medicare for All? You know, I'm from New Jersey, and they're like, don't say that out loud to people. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you bragging about it, bro? <laughs> like, like, that's the state that everybody's like, maybe we shouldn't, you know? Can we, just, can we have a second Texas instead of New Jersey? <laughs> That's a bad New Jersey kid. And he's just like, I'm a proud New Jersey. Nobody's a fucking proud New Jersey. New Jersey has one of the largest Indian populations in the country, right? Like, there's a very large Indian population in New Jersey. And I'm almost certain that everybody there just, like, is there by accident. (laughs) Right? And then, like, when they go on vacation, there's like, there's more to this country? Like, what? I can leave, I'm allowed to leave, and then we do, and then we leave New Jersey. And we <laughs> he had, I, I will say that he did make one statement throughout the whole thing, which I was just like, yeah, okay, cool, like I can kind of vibe on this, which is like, look at how 
we're treating each other right now. Like we're all attacking each other, and this is why like we're not going to win is because we keep yeah. attacking each other, right? Like Democrats need more party unity, and I'm like, yeah, cool. Like I do believe in that. And then he's like, can everybody just be nice to me for just a little bit? <laughs> 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 like Corey was, Corey was real desperate for everybody. Like I am still relevant, you guys. <laughs> I am still relevant. I feel like Elizabeth Warren got, uh, she did get attacked quite a bit, didn't she? Yeah, everybody kind of went after Elizabeth Warren a little bit. Um, she's been parroting a lot of other people's policies, like, a lot, <laughs> you know? Like, she's the kid in class that just, like, cheats off everybody, but, like, blatantly does it, but the teacher's like, no, but she's so soft-spoken, she can't be, <laughs> she can't be doing all of it all the time. <laughs> you know, she's like, look at how nicely she says the same answer that the other kid just said five minutes ago and just claimed that it was hers, right? <laughs> Isn't that the most American thing that you could do, though, right? It's just like, it's just claim that something <laughs> that somebody else said is yours. <laughs> like, it's that the, that's like the most American thing that you could do. It's just like, I know that the natives said a lot of this stuff a couple hundred years ago, <laughs> but we're saying it now, so it counts. Right? No. Yeah, but we should be unifying it. We should, we should be unifying ourselves. <laughs> the, so, and then, and then you had Kamala Harris. Oh, man. I don't like her, man. I, I really don't. I'm not a big fan of Kamala Harris. You know? I think, I, I think she lost me when she was like, if you skip school, we're going to send your parents to prison. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking <laughs> She's like, but I'm really good with criminal justice. It's like, oh, are you, or are you just kind of like a sociopath that hates kids? <laughs> it's, like, it's like the scariest thing. Like, my parents used to say that to me, and I think they might have said that to, to, like, me and my sister, like, maybe once, right? Whenever we would, like, be bad, they're like, all right, well, you know, if you don't do this thing, somebody's going to come in. And they're just gonna take us away, which is like, what a horrifying thing to say to your <laughs> Fucking why? Why would you say that? Oh my god, I'll stop doing whatever it is. What is happening? Right? Somebody's gonna take you away? I am seven. You're like everything to me. I don't understand anything about this world, but now the only thing I know is that there's somebody that wants to take my everything away. Oh my god, like that's. Kamala Harris is like, I built a platform off of that. <laughs> I'm real progressive. <laughs> if fear is progressive to an end. I'm a, I'm a Tulsi Gabbard fan. That's my girl. I don't know if anybody is a big Tulsi yeah, fan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like Tulsi a lot. She talked about um, ending regime change war. That's a big platform that she has, right? Is ending the regime change wars. Uh, and then at the end of it, I, I, I like what she did, but I also have a problem with it, where she was like, I hope Senator Warren will join me to say that we will end these regime change wars. And I was like, hmm, Tulsi, baby girl, that's a bad <laughs> idea, because she's going to cheat off you. <laughs> and then in like the next debate, she's like, we're fucking up Syria real bad. And, she's, and it's like, you voted for his military bill twice! What are you talking about? She's like, we need to defund the military, but only kind of, right? Like, we're still gonna let the Pentagon and the CIA do whatever they want, but like, we're gonna give them, like, we're gonna cut their allowance by like $20, okay? We are, I mean, we are really pulling the purse strings on this one. This fucking shit show, man, that's all it was. I feel like the candidate I kind of felt the most bad for is Andrew Yang. Because I feel like people, yeah, people don't give that guy enough credit. Like, I don't agree with everything that he says, but I like his idea for universal basic income, and I like that he, can, like, addresses the fact that automation is real. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's job is in jeopardy right now with robots. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, like there could just be a robot back there that you just shove it, your credit card into its mouth, you know? Like, that's a scary thing, you know? And he's addressing it. He's talking about... He's talking about important shit, and everybody's just kind of just like, you can't, you can't just like help people, you know? Like you can't just <laughs> offer your help to people as a government. That's not, 
what we do. How do we crush the middle class <laughs> so hard that they can't get back up because their spines have collapsed into themselves? <laughs> that's what government's supposed to do. Like, that's, that's like what everybody else <laughs> comes out and says. Oh man, it's crazy. So you know that was that was my Wednesday. <laughs> survive through that.